Hi and welcome back to Terry Talks Movies. This time around I've got an unboxing as you can see because I've got a box. And this was sent to me by Umbrella Entertainment. I'm going to review some of the stuff in here in more detail in a future video. But I thought because I had to go back to the post office three times to get this because it was sent to weird places around the Australia Post distribution network before I got it. So I'm going to open it up and just see what Umbrella have sent me. I know what's in it, but just in detail. Okay, so I've got packing peanuts. That's a good start. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to pull these things out. I'm going to pull these things out. I'm not even sure what that is. That's a mysterious thing. And the rest of it's empty. So now I've got three movies and I've got the deluxe package for two of them, but I'll do the third one. This one I want to review because it's a movie that's part of the sunburnt screen label that Umbrella have. And it's a movie from, it's from 1992, and it's a little film called Spotswood, which has got a really good cast in it. Anthony Hopkins, just around the time he made Silence of the Lambs, and that's glaring, so I'll put it that way. Okay, so that's better. It's Spotswood, um, yeah. So it's got a good cast. Anthony Hopkins, Ben Mendelsohn, Mendo, man is going to be in the Secret Wars Marvel series soon playing a scroll, which he also played in um, Captain Marvel. So yeah, and uh, we've got Tony Collette as well, before she had so much work done on her face. Alwyn Kurtz, Rebecca Rick, and Russell Crowe. Remember Russell Crowe? He's a guy that was in Australian movies of a certain era and may well have done some things since. But uh, yeah, this one's pretty good. It's all region, as you can see if you look closely there. All region. And it's kind of like an Australian version of an Ealing comedy. I don't want to talk terribly much about it because I want to review it. I'm going to review this one and also Love Serenade. Another Australian movie that's in this particular series. I'm going to do a special video about them. But uh, yeah, it's a kind of an Ealing comedy. An efficiency expert is sent to a shoe factory in the Melbourne suburb of Spotswood. That's Anthony Hopkins. Comes out from England and tries to change the way everything's done in this little factory and he gets changed more than the factory does by kind of um, learning the easygoing ways that people do things why they do things in a certain way and at the time this was made in 1992 the suburb of Spotswood looked like it was in the 1960s when the movie set and so the, it's got that kind of old-fashioned factory look about it uh, these days it's really really gentrified it's full of places where you can get turmeric lattes. But at the time, it was still kind of working class in the best possible way. And this is almost a celebration of ordinary people, in a sense. Really interesting little film. And I'm glad that Umbrella have put this out because these little quirky films are the ones that need our love. And too, too often, just don't get it. So that was the first one. It's got a bonus soundtrack CD inside, which is great because I'm a big fan of CDs in general, and soundtracks in particular. What other uh, special stuff have we got in there? High definition presentation, 4K scan of the original, alternative, the efficiency expert cut, uh, the efficiency expert introduction by director Mark Joffe, all new memories of Spotswood feature featuring Mark Joffe, the cinematographer Ellery Ryan, Production designer Chris Kenny, all feature length audio commentary with director Mark Joffe, cinematographer Ellery Ryan, and production designer Chris Kennedy. Archival making of featurette, Film Buffs Forecast interview with director Mark Joffe. Film Buffs Forecast was a radio show on 3 Triple R Community Radio here in Melbourne. Uh, and it's got a trailer and a CD of the original score and a reversible sleeve. So yeah, nice little package and a nice call out. I like this and I like the fact that it's been given the Blu-ray treatment by Umbrella Entertainment. So thank them, thank to them very much for doing this. I like the fact that they put this together and are championing somewhat forgotten but really, really interesting and entertaining Australian films. Now this is, um, this is something that cheeses me off. I'll be honest with you. I'm cheesed off about this one because less than a year ago I spent 60 Australian dollars to get this American edition of Sons of Steel the Australian horror movie musical 
science fiction film. Um, so I got that, and there's the inside cover. It's a very bare bones thing, put out by Future Video. And now Umbrella have re released it on a, on a Blu ray, and it looks much, much better than the other one. Um, yeah, so this is part of their Beyond Genres. It's volume 23 of the Beyond Genres. A film by Gary L. Keedy, which stars um, Rob Hartley, Ros Wasson, and Jeff Dunn. And it's punk, it's metal. It's a crazy science fiction film set in Sydney during uh, around the time that a nuclear apocalypse is about to happen and deep into the future where we see the future of a number of characters and the hero of the piece is a kind of bodybuilding building short nasty little bastard called Black Alice played by Rob Hartley. It's hard to describe Sons of Steel without people seeing it. I've got a dozen friends who love this film and be, they're still watching their old VHSs of it. And for Umbrella to put this out is a real uh, treat for those of us who remember this from the VHS era. It's got a really interesting version of Something in the Air done by Rob Hartley. It's got a very early computer-generated artificial intelligence with some incredible not kind of 1990s style computer graphics it's set and filmed in sydney a lot of it's filmed around st james train station and in the tunnels underneath st james train station if i remember rightly there's also a bit in the devonshire tunnel which is under central station letting people get from one end of the station to the other and i remember once upon a time at about three in the morning I walked through the Devonshire Tunnel, which is a big pedestrian tunnel going across underneath the station. And ahead of me there were rats, and behind me there were rats. And I, as I walked, there was this kind of distance between me and these rats. There must have been 20 or 30 rats at either side of me. So I've got a, a kind of freaky nostalgia for this one. This includes a 48-page booklet and a CD soundtrack. So let's take off the kind of outside plastic and take a look at it. There's a better view of the cover. I'm going to pop this as well. There is your 48 page booklet all about the movie and there's a lot of detail in there. And that, um, Rob Hartley doesn't look anything like that. So yeah, um, so there's a booklet about the making of the film with interviews of people. So all of that's really great. Let's have a look at the reversible cover. Well, it's not a reversible cover on this one. But there's the soundtrack listing for the CD soundtrack. There's a couple of bonus tracks on there. There's the discs of the movie. And for the CD soundtrack, Black Alice it says there. Sons of Steel. Really, really, really nice package. So I recommend anybody who's into cult cinema, particularly science fiction cult cinema, should get this. There's a, there's a freaky mutant monster at the end of this that some people I know um, created at the time. Uh, my friend Lewis Morley worked on the uh, freaky mutant monster with the large appendage that's in this film. And as I said, it's, it's all zone. The other thing I got with this, which I got the prestige version of things, is a pocket nuclear shelter. Now, I have never had a pocket nuclear shelter before. And I don't even know what it is. So I'm going to unwrap that. And it is... It folds out into a carry bag. Um, let's have a look here. Pocket nuclear shoulder. All you'll ever need in case of nuclear attack. Take bag from pocket, place overhead, and wait for the end. So yeah, I'm um, not sure it's terribly useful in a real nuclear attack. But it's good to have another shopping bag. And this one is uh, kind of cool. The other side has Sons of Steel on it. Love the packaging on this. I love what they've done with it. It is deeply, deeply groovy just to have something as prosaic and yet so weird as a shopping bag advertising a wild and crazy science fiction movie. And I will put that together again later. So Sons of Steel... I should do a full review on this. In fact, I will do a full review on Sons of Steel because it's mad as hell. And I've got to put all this back together now. Boom, boom, boom. 
but yeah beautiful package there uh, umbrella is just going so far into wildness and craziness adding the shopping bag and adding the CD soundtrack to this and Spotswood and adding a 48 page booklet as well uh, in the beyond genres uh, label that they have fantastic stuff I love what they're doing with this so with the Sons of Steel you get additions in the deluxe edition which I fortunately got from Umbrella stickers got a few Sons of Steel stickers Sons of Steel Black Alice which is Black Alice's band the Stun Sons of Steel Lightning Flash and a couple of the cover art on stickers which I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put them on there that people can see it and I can kind of go deeply obscure with it but we also have a Sons of Steel poster which I know a whole bunch of friends are going to be envious of which is totally groovy and alternative cover art on the other side of that which I like a lot I, I particularly like the cover art they've done on the back here on the Beyond Genres cover for the um, Blu-ray I like what it does it's um it's peak 1980s you've got a mutant monster you got women wearing short skirts you've got black alice in the background it's uh it's just 100 1980s driving groovy then you also get artwork from the movie on stickers there is black alice like i said not a pretty man there he is with an enormous gun bfg there is one of the um, other people he meets in the future. There's a better shot of Rob Hartley playing Black Alice. Yeah, he's kind of like a squished down Vin Diesel before Vin Diesel. Another bit of the artwork from the film. And again, these things are, are on high quality card. They're not cheapo. And... Um, very dramatic piece of the film and that one I can't show you because it's got boobs in it but <laughs> leaving that aside and thanks guys for warning me about the boobs but um, yeah so I like that it's uh, it's kind of value added to an Australian obscurity that I really like and get a copy of Sons of Steel if you're into cult movies at all if you're into 1980s movies, if you're into that drive-in era and the drive-in aesthetic and the VHS era kind of video shop aesthetic, Sons of Steel is one you should have. Sons of Steel was in every video shop when I was prowling video shops looking for things and it was always nice to see it there. This one's an American film. It's Cloak and Dagger from 1984 which stars Dabney Coleman, Michael Murphy's in it, Henry Thomas, who was in E.T., a crackerjack spy thriller, Marvelous Time, according to Bob Thomas of the Associated Press, 11-year-old Danny Osborne loves playing video games and acting out top-secret missions, but the spy game quickly turns from fantasy to reality when he stumbles on a real-life adventure involving agents trying to sneak military secrets out of the country, concealed in a video game cartridge. So it's peak 1980s. And... Danny establishes, gets the aid of his best friend, an imaginary super spy named Jack Fleck, played by Dabney Coleman, to help him survive. So there it is. That's actually a 3D cover, because it says so right there on the packaging. It includes 3D cover art, 3D glasses, and a 16-page booklet. So this one I remember from VHS days as well. It was more of a kid's movie than a movie suited to me in the 1980s, but... I'm going to re-watch it and hopefully enjoy it. I like the basic concept, though I'm not a big fan of daddy issues in movies. But there's the inside cover, which is more like the cover art I saw back in the VHS days. And there's another version of it on the back. Is it a reversible cover? No, it isn't. But you get 3D glasses with it, so you can look at this through your 3D glasses glasses if you don't already have some i've got a few packets of 3d glasses around and uh so i probably don't need these to watch it, to look at the cover but um i like that idea 3d glasses are always cool they are never not cool so you get the booklet here cloak and dagger 
which is it's, it's smaller than the booklet for Sons of Steel, but of course there's less to say about this than Sons of Steel. But there's a good lot of stuff in there. Directed by Australian Richard Franklin, come to think of it. So that in itself makes local content. Um, there, let me flip that around so you can see. Yep, there's the uh, cover art embossed onto the Blu-ray. But I've got the prestige version of this, which is unfortunately sold out like the one for Sons of Steel is. Which is why you should get on the mailing list for Umbrella Entertainment. Because they will tell you when this stuff's coming out and you can get it before it runs out because it's a limited edition. So there's this. We've got reproduction lobby cards. And I love reproduction lobby cards for the movie. There's Debney Coleman playing the father in it. Interesting protagonist to have Dabney Coleman playing anything because at the time he was known for playing cynical bastards on television But uh, there it is there. There's another one. There's another one There's another one. Uh, let's see and there again is another one uh, So yeah blast from the past from the 1980s. There you go old school computers got to love that stuff so we get that plus you get and this is I like because I'm a fan of this kind of stuff a version of the 3D poster, which you can look at on your wall in 3D using your glasses, plus the other cover art, which is just great. Uh, I like these kind of additions to things, and that's not all you get. So not only do you get these, not only do you get this, not only do you get the 3D glasses if you get the um, deluxe edition, but you get a little pewter figure of Jack Flack which is kind of cool. It's like a little tin soldier almost, but it's got some weight to it, so it is pewter. And uh, let me just see if I can bring it up closer to the camera a bit. But yeah, I like that. It's um, a nice addition. I'm gonna have to find a place for that and keep it safe and secure because I like the fact that they actually bothered to do that with it. So there they are, the three movies I've got from Umbrella Entertainment, Spotswood, Cloak and Dagger, Sons of Steel, I recommend them all. This one I'm going to have to rewatch to really find out whether I love it because I remember at the time I didn't, but then it's about daddy issues and I have daddy issues, so um, probably there's a bit of that in there. Hidden gem, cult movie, must see, 80s nostalgic grooviness. That's all you need to know. So, anyway, on that note, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. You can also support the channel by going to patreon.com slash paleocinema. I'll be back with three Hammer films next time around. So look forward to that. In the meantime, look after yourselves. Watch some good movies. Watch some bad movies. Watch some cult movies, hidden gems, and 1980s nostalgia. And I'll catch you next time.